proud of our team for a lot of reasons. Uh, and I don't think we necessarily play the terrific uh, basketball in terms of execution. And I give UMass a lot of credit. I thought they came in and it almost felt like they gave you great respect that this is a good basketball team. They didn't shoot nearly the amount of threes they've shot in their exhibition game in the last game. I think they really respected that they had to go and play it and grind it out. And I thought they made us work for things. The thing I'm proud about is like guys like Max and uh, Jeff Reeves, people don't really talk about on our team, which I know could start for most teams in our league for sure. Uh, come in and play real big minutes and we win a road game against a quality opponent when Ryan Whitman gets four points and Alex Tyler gets three and Chris Robleski gets two. It just speaks volumes for guys like Max and the rest of our, our guys. Max, is it weird to be a here is a, it's a little player. weird. It's a little weird. It's a little weird to be on the opposite side, on the opponent side. But uh, I enjoyed it. Was it down? Did you keep in touch with any any of those guys? A couple guys, Ricky a little bit, and uh, and Gurr a little bit. But uh, most of my class, you know, transferred or yeah. or left. Does it feel Does it feel like a long time ago? It does. It feels like ages ago for some reason. Nice to uh, to make a few shots here first time first time this season. Yeah, it is. It's nice to get in there and uh, contribute to the team. Realize that your your your, uh, your three pointer in the first half is essentially the game winning basket, but you guys had to stay. <laughs> That's nice to know. That's nice to know. Is that you feel that that's going to be your role to come off the bench and provide that kind of? Yeah, anything to anything just to help the team win. Just uh, if I have to be on the bench and just cheer them on, I'll do that. I'll come in for a couple of minutes and try to give them offensive spark. Um, I'm ready to do that too. Is that what you're looking for him to come off the bench and make those kind of shots in those kind of situations? You know, to be quite honest with you, I think we obviously have a veteran group, and Max has done a terrific job, as he says. He, he doesn't just speak, and he does it. He works extremely hard, as hard as any player we have in our program, uh, doing extra things. I think that's that's still to be determined. We're, it's a young season. I have great confidence in him in the game. I mean, I think he's a quality player who knows how to play. Um, he was upset that he missed the one shot he thinks he shouldn't have taken. Well, I have no problem with that. He gives us everything else and maybe he took a little quick, but he hasn't played in two years as well. And, uh, I think, he, as I said, he could start for a lot of teams in college basketball. I'm just real fortunate that he's on our squad at this point. How much confidence did your team bring into this game tonight coming, coming out of Tuscaloosa? I think uh, the maturation of this team over the last two years, to be honest with you, you, know, you go back to uh, Sienna team at home, just when these guys are sophomores. We go on the road and play Duke Wells sophomores. Play Stanford in the NCAA tournament. I have some runs last year of Minnesota, Indiana, Syracuse, which we play well. They go to Missouri and give them all they can. And then to finally get over that hump in Alabama, I think it's just these guys know they're a pretty good basketball team. I also think they understand why they're good, and I think that's critical. I think they understand that they have to share the ball. they got to play extremely hard. We're not the most athletic team. We're going to make it up on uh, absolutely crazy plays. We've got to play great basketball. And I think that's what makes them such a good team because they, they understand that. Coach, can you talk a little bit about the importance of being able to weather that run in the second half this year? Obviously, back to back games, you have double half, double did at these in the second half. You were able to hold on to the Yeah, it's a, you know, what it's referring to last year, we, had a, we struggled. Uh, we're up by 12 at Minnesota, 15 at Syracuse. And, I, you know, partly to do with Lou Dale being out last year, I think. We would have done better, but it's a great sign because I look at the box score and you see guys that typically you rely on Ryan Whitman to get his 18 to 20, and he does it. And Chris is on the bench with four fouls, and we can't use him yet. We still weathered the storm. Uh, I thought we played terrific defense. I thought we did a great job on the boards in the second half where they hurt us in the first half as well. Uh, great confidence in a lot of guys. Adam Wire played terrific tonight, I thought. Just you won't notice it because he gets set rebounds. Uh, throws his body around, has great defense, and helps us win. So we'll talk a little bit also about um, about Adam Wire. Obviously, coming in this game after not playing um, in the last game, around, <laughs> um, what's the difference you saw in him in the matchup today? Well, the, uh, he tweaked his ankle in warmups uh, before the Alabama game. He's definitely in the rotation. Adam Wire brings tremendous toughness. Uh, doesn't care how it gets done. A great screener, ball handler. Finisher shot fouls tonight, which isn't is great, but he goes five for seven. Uh, great defender, and, and I, as I said, he just brings toughness that, and we need to win. Uh, 
Uh, it, we're a much better team in the rotation. 